Hello, I'm Kimberly Halkin in Washington. These are the main stories brought to you by Al Jazeera. Cuba's Roman Catholic Church says the country's government has agreed to free 52 political prisoners and allow them to leave the country. It would be the largest mass liberation of prisoners of conscience on the island in decades. There's been no official confirmation of the release from Havana. A Sudanese prisoner accused of helping Osama bin Laden escape U.S. forces in Afghanistan has pled guilty to, quote, providing material support to al-Qaeda and conspiring to commit terrorism. It's the Obama administration's first conviction in the war crimes court at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. al khalsi could be sentenced to life in prison. U.S. prosecutors say a 2009 failed plot to bomb the New York City subway system was part of a larger al-Qaeda conspiracy that included attacks on the United Kingdom. It also brings new charges against a U.S. citizen authorities say was planning a New York attack. Well, Al Jazeera's Kristen Salumi is in New York. This high-profile case is coming out uh, on the heels of another high-profile case. Just a couple weeks ago, we had Faisal Shahzad, uh, another man who admitted that he wanted to set off a car bomb in Times Square here in New York. So two cases where you have American citizens uh, with links to global networks coming one right after the other. Kristen Slumi reporting there. A top Turkish court has rejected key parts of Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan's plans to overhaul the country's constitution. The constitutional court didn't support changes that would curb the powers of the judiciary and the army. The main opposition in Turkey had called for the entire package of reforms to be thrown out. More than 50 people have been killed in attacks across the Iraqi capital. In one of the incidents, a suicide bombing left 32 Shia pilgrims dead and dozens more wounded. The pilgrims were on their way to a mosque in northern Baghdad to mark the death of a revered Shia figure. Celebrations in Spain as the national team defeated Germany 1-0 to advance to face the Netherlands in the World Cup final on Sunday. It will be Spain's first appearance in a World Cup final. Neither Spain nor the Netherlands has ever won the title. And those are your top stories. Don't forget you can stay up to date with all of your news on our website. The address is aljazeera.net forward slash English.